You just had dinner at a restaurant and now it's time to pay. What if you pull out your crypto wallet and pay with Bitcoin or Ethereum instead of cash or card? Yes, people do this and it's here to stay. But let's see how to make it safe for you. There are two different types of crypto wallets. You have got your hot wallets, which are connected to the internet, and your cold wallets, which are offline. Hot wallets usually have a user-friendly interface that resembles online banking or a mobile banking app. They display your cryptocurrency balances, transaction history, and provide options to send and receive funds. Hot wallets are like the Swiss army knife of crypto wallets. They're versatile, easy to use, and always with you when connected to the internet. These wallets are great for everyday transactions, just like using your debit card for groceries or buying a latte at a cafe. You can quickly move your coins around and make trades at the speed of a tweet. But remember, being connected to the internet 24-7 comes with risks. It's like walking around with cash in your pocket. It's convenient, but also more exposed. Hackers are a thing, folks. And while hot wallets have safety features like two-factor authentication, the fact that they're online means there's a higher risk of getting hacked. It's like leaving your car running while you pop into a store. It might be fine, but there's also a chance someone could just hop in and drive it off. Now let's talk about cold wallets. Imagine a vault locked behind a 10-inch steel door, surrounded by laser sensors and guarded by a fire-breathing dragon. Okay, maybe not the dragon part, but you get what we mean. Cold wallets are not connected to the internet. It is usually the size of a USB. This makes it much less susceptible to online hacking attempts. You would have to have physical access to the cold wallet to mess with it. But just like a safety deposit box, they're not as easy to access for everyday transactions. Cold wallets can take various forms, such as hardware devices, paper wallets, or even physical items like engraved metal plates. Some of the better known cold wallets are Leisure Nano S, Leisure Nano X, and Trezor. So are you safe with cold wallets? Yes and no. Don't forget, while cold wallets protect you from online hackers, you are still susceptible to good old-fashioned physical theft or something more realistic like forgetting your password. And well, there's no forget my wallet option to get it back. To prevent this, keep additional backups of essential data. All right, a quick recap. Hot wallets are convenient but riskier, like your day-to-day -day checking account. Cold wallets are like the vault you've never touched, ultra safe, but not convenient for frequent transactions. Many people actually use both. They keep a bit of crypto in a hot wallet for daily use and stash the rest in a cold wallet for safekeeping. It's like having a wallet in your pocket for petty cash and a bank account where your life savings sit. So what can you do to up your safety game? Backups, backups, backups. Just like you have a spare house key. Make sure you back up your wallet's essential information. Use a strong password. Don't use the same password you've used for other accounts. We are talking passwords like you're trying to keep the CIA out. Updates. Keep your wallet updated. Just like you wouldn't ignore your phone software updates, don't ignore your wallets. Beware of phishing. If it smells fishy, it probably is. Don't click on random emails or links asking you for your wallet info. So, are crypto wallets safe? The short answer, they can be. They are as safe as you make them. Yeah, there is always a risk, but if you are smart about it, you can minimize that risk big time. If you found this video helpful, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more crypto videos. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you want to learn about next. Until next time.